Steps in taking the complaints Step 1. When a customer first make a complaint, take a step back. It can be difficult to remain impassive in the face of criticism, but an emotional response will only serve to irritate the customer further. Step 2. Give the customer your full attention and listen to the whole problem before responding. Put yourself into their shoes. If you had a problem, you would want someone to listen to you. Appearing disinterested or attempting to argue back will only exacerbate the situation. Step 3. Don't jump the gun. You might deal with complaints on a regular basis and may well have handled the similar situation before. However, for the customer, their complaint is unique to them. Treat them as an important individual by listening to their problems in full. Step 4. Try to understand. In the face of complaints, it's easy to be defensive, particularly if you don't believe you're at fault. However, you have to put yourself in the customer's shoes. If you were on the receiving end of their experience, would you personally be satisfied? Step 5. Always use your initiative when dealing with complaints. If the blame lies with one particular member of staff, it is often best to remove the customer from their presence. This can diffuse tension and emotion and help the customer to reevaluate their anger. Step 6. Never pass the customer around from person to person. Each complaint should ideally be handled by one staff member. Therefore, you should always ensure that the person assigned to the case has the authority to deal with the situation. Why do guests complain? Why do guests complain? There is only one reason why guests complain. Guests complain when they do not receive what they thought they have received. In other words, their expectations were not met. Guests generally expect friendly service clean, well-maintained facilities, and a level of quality in time with what they think. Failure to provide this will result in guest dissatisfaction, which may lead to a complaint. If it does, this is a signal that others are probably feeling the same way, but not telling you. Tips for delivering exceptional customer service 1. Respond quickly. When a customer has a problem or issue, they need resolve. A wait of even a day seems like lifetime. Often, even delays that short can be enough to send them to our competitors. Customer want fast and from service. That means you should provide 24-7 customer service. Phone calls should be immediately answered and email need to be responded to within the hour. 2. Use the right employees. Customer service takes us skills. When dealing with angry, dissatisfied customers, your customer service employee need to be able to resolve their complaints, make them happy and keep them as paying customers. This is no easy task. Hire only the most professional customer service representatives who have been proven experience in the field. Training and regular evaluation is essential. 3. Listen. Good customer service usually happens through listening. In fact, most customer service representatives should be listening most of the time. Hearing out what the customer problem is exactly determining what will be the best solution. Most customers with complaints don't just want a resolution. They want to know that their issue has been heard and that company will take steps to prevent it from happening again. Exceeds customer's expectation. When you're resolving a customer's complaint or problem, Go above and beyond. Your customers expect that their issue will be fixed. That should be the bare minimum service that you provide. Good customer service does more than just resolve a customer's problem. It exceeds their expectation and leaves them feeling happy and appreciated. 5. Respect your customers. Even when an issue is resolved, customers want to know that their business is appreciated. Your employees need to be friendly, courteous, and speak with customers on personal level. Customer service that resolve problem in a personal, cold way will still be seen as poor. 6. Don't ignore the little things. Sometimes, little things have a big impact. Using the customer's name, asking them how they have been, 
or proactively calling them after purchase to find out if there are any issues can all be used to increase customer satisfaction. Tips on how to greet customers Number 1. Smile with your greetings Guests want to hear words of greeting and see a smile. If an employee at the door appears grumpy and doesn't even offer a simple hello, welcome to Hotel X, the guests will mostly start their experience off in the wrong mood. Stop what you are doing. A guest should be greeted within 30 seconds of entering your hotel. Then stand up from your task and offer a smile and words of greeting. After offering assistance, you can return back to your other task. 3. Show don't tell. When the guest enters your hotel, they will most likely inquire about a specific accommodation. Take time to answer right away his her inquiries, or if possible, Show them exactly the types of room available. It will only take a few seconds and your guests will appreciate your time and effort. 4. Ask question. Take a moment to ask further regarding his her needs after an imperative question. 5. Dress professionally because you will be the first face that a prospective guest sees. Be sure to dress and act professionally. Avoid wearing provocative outfits that may offend guests. Rather, choose conservative professional outfits that are appropriate for your work environment. If you present a neat room appearance, your guests will feel more comfortable during the sale transaction. Tips for dealing with complaints 1. Try to remain calm when dealing with a complaint. Even the customer become irritated or confrontational, your ultimate aim is to turn their negative experience into a positive one, but arguing back will only make the situation worse. 2. Complaints should always be resolved as quickly as possible. The aim is to make customers feel as true their problem is being treated as priority without being rushed. 3. Keep comprehensive records of all customers' complaints, from the initial problem to eventual solution. You can then periodically access these records, identifying any common complaints and taking steps to improve company's process. And 4. All customers facing staff members should be trained to deal with complaints. If possible, give your employees some authority when it's come to issuing a refund or other consolatory gesture. Forcing the customer to wait for a manager can make a bad situation worse.